Hello YouTube, it's Austin with another Project 24 update. Today I'm going to update you for a week of September 15th through September 21st of 2019. Let's get started. Hello YouTube, it's Austin, and as I mentioned, I am going to provide you with another Project 24 weekly update. Before we jump in and take a look at September 15th through September 21st, I'm just going to quickly give you an overview as to what Project 24 is and why I initially got into it. Um, so Project 24 is a course about content marketing. Now content marketing is basically the, the process of uh, using keyword research to answer questions to solve problems to meet consumer needs. And through that, you'll provide either an affiliate link uh, for affiliate marketing or com come up with your own um, product, digital product, or or sell even, I guess you could sell physical merchandise. Now, I joined Project 24 on September 7th of 2018, so just over a year ago. And the reason why I joined is because I had a pretty good understanding of affiliate marketing. I just didn't really necessarily understand uh, the content marketing aspect of it. Um, I had watched a number of YouTube videos and I knew um, how to get, and I, I knew how to get affiliate links. I know how to post affiliate links. I just, I guess I didn't really understand the keyword research aspect of it. And I somehow stumbled across the income school YouTube channel. I, I urge you to check it out if you haven't already done so. Um, and really the reason why I joined project 24 was because uh, the, the course creators, Jim and Ricky, they seem to be, and, and they are, um, wholesome, non-scammy guys. Now, if you've watched a number of affiliate marketing or make money online type videos, you'll come across the whole game of guys that are basically that just, just want to sell your product. Whereas these guys uh, appeared, uh, Jim and Ricky appeared to answer all of my questions via the their YouTube videos. And even they'll they go back in and, and answer questions. And that really uh, drew me in and, and, and got me engaged. And I started watching all of their videos. And eventually I signed up. As I mentioned, I signed up on September 7th of 2018. Um, initially, I created my first blog on that day. Um, I got my first 30 videos up in 45 days. And so um, the, the great thing about this course about Project 24 is they give you, they, they at the time, they give you a 60-step guide on how to create a website and add blog posts and the appropriate level um, to assess competition and to create more of like a formulaic approach. Um, it really resonated with me because I, I like more of the formulaic step-by-step um, -step approach versus a very vague pie in the sky type of thing. I'm more, I would say probably analytic, analytical. Um, then, you know, I would say probably creative. And if you watch a number of these videos, you'll, you probably tell that I'm more analytic, analytically inclined versus creatively inclined. Um, so that's really what drew me in. They had this formulaic approach, um, for helping or assisting and, and even getting your affiliate links out there. So with that being said, let's take a look at, at my sites. I have, I believe I have probably six or seven sites that, that follow the Project 24 method, but these are the four sites that I'm going to talk about today. This is my largest site. It has somewhere between 95 and 100 blog posts. Um, I This is the, the site that I created uh, September 7th and completed within 45 days. Uh, in addition to the blog post, it also has, um, I believe, about 35 YouTube videos. There's 42 subscribers currently, and I'm just posting weekly. In fact, I actually missed yesterday's post or Monday's post, um, but I, I just update content weekly. Um, last week, I gave you the number as to the amount of watch time that I have in minutes. I don't have that information in front of me or else I would provide it. So here you can see the numbers uh, for the week. I had 418 page views, 213 unique views. Uh, so it looks like people are going about two pages per visit. Uh, average time on page 30 seconds, uh, bounce rate 18.58 and exit percent of 43.78. Um, so organic search leads away followed by direct social and referral. And as you, if you follow this channel, the trend continues where my, my, my number one search result or organic search is not Google. It is Bing, Yahoo, and DuckDuckGo, followed by Facebook. And then as you can see, uh, a number of people are um, tracking to my website via YouTube. So if you are on the fence about creating YouTube videos to drive traffic to your, your website or your blog post, I definitely urge you to do it because you essentially could just read your blogs on your YouTube channel in order to get people back to your site. Um, so Google is eighth and then, um, then we have the, the Facebook and the other organic search rounding it out. So one other thing that I like to do is I like to take a look at where my traffic is coming from. The reason why I like looking at the traffic is because it gives me an idea of the type of 
of, of, of users or, or buyers. Um, if they are coming from developed countries or first world countries, determining on your, depending on your terminology, um, that is a good sign because usually first world developed countries are looking to buy their way to solve a problem. And so that's what we see here. My top four, are United States, United Kingdom, Canada, and Australia. That's a good sign um, of, of people that are, are going to be buyers instead of lookers. Really everyone on this list or just about everyone on this list um, is a pretty good sign. So that is number one, my first and largest site. The second site, it was created October 25th. Uh, or that week about um, this one has between I would say 30 and 40 blog posts it also also has uh, just the 10 YouTube videos and and I believe there are 10 subscribers now if you are joining or tracking project 24 you know that there are 60 steps that are included in building a website if you're blogging in those steps there are 30 blog posts that you're going to create um, 10 YouTube videos and a number of Pinterest pins that you're going to create to grow your, your website or your channel. Um, I haven't looked at the 60 steps recently, so I can't tell you exactly if anything has changed or not, but that was how everything was set up. Since the time that I joined Project 24, they have added a free WordPress theme. If you go over to alstongodbolt.com, you'll see that theme. The reason why I like that theme is because it ranks, it ranked a, a 99 at the page speed, the Google Insights page speed, which is one of the factors that Google uses to determine um, where sites are placed on their organic search. So if you look at alstongodbolt.com, um, that's a free theme that, that is given to Project 24 users. In addition, these themes are, um, you can use these themes on, a, on, on an unlimited number of websites, which is another huge benefit. Um, some places will have you locked to maybe one or, or five. You, if you have 30 websites, in theory, you could have this theme on 30 different websites. In addition, they have added a free uh, YouTube course. Um, when I Again, when I first started, they didn't have the YouTube course. And they've actually gone back and refined their course a few different times. One of the drawbacks of, of buying courses online is that Sometimes you you buy the course and then you're just kind of stuck with it. Um, it kind of it quickly uh, ages and, and it doesn't age well. Uh, but with Project Twenty Four, they're constantly updating the site and then they're letting us know when it when the when the when the course is updated. So that's that's all good information. Uh, if you're considering Project Twenty Four, there is a link in the description to, to check it out. Uh, but just know that they are frequently updating and they're responding and in, in um, addressing any criticism or feedback uh, from the community. So. Um, it's one of those sites that, that likes to stay fresh and up to date. Anyway, uh, getting back to my second site, um, 160 page views, 155 unique views, average time on page 2 minutes and 59 seconds, and a bounce rate of 93.33. Now, you'll notice a stark difference between the bounce rate on this this uh, site and my last one. This site does not have the, the free WordPress theme. Uh, this site actually has X theme. When I first installed or, or, or created my websites, all of them had X theme. Um, this site has X theme, and, and you can see the difference between the bounce rate. And then for here, on here, you can see my traffic or Google Organic will be uh, at the top, followed by direct and social. We take a closer look. As you can see, Google Organic, followed by direct, Bing, Facebook, and then YouTube. And then, uh, as you can see here, for this website, this website's in a much larger niche, and I, I don't divulge my, my niches um, or my websites. Um, it's in a, in a much broader niche, so these, these numbers make sense. Uh, these, these countries make sense, I should say. Um, as you can see, the first four are first world or developed countries. Uh, I don't know what India is. I should probably look that up between now and the next time I do these videos so I can be a little bit more knowledgeable. Um, but that is my second site. My third site is what I call a travel site. It is, the site's called Learn Kenosha. Um, this site was created way before I started Project 24. It was designed to be a site where I would get money from advertising. And then once I joined Project 24, I realized that I should add blog posts for the travel site to this website so that I can gain organic traffic. Once I gain the or organic traffic, I can take it into or, or sell it better to the local businesses and make money that way. Uh, as you can see, I have 26 page views. Um, I started adding content, mm, I would say, early January of 2019. Um, 
and I believe this one has between 15 and 25 blog posts. There aren't any YouTube videos. If you've watched any of my other videos, um, one of the things that I really want to do, uh, maybe that's a long-term goal of mine, is I'd like to create a YouTube channel for uh, for for Kenosha. Uh, one of the things or areas that I see, areas of opportunity, is no one does YouTube videos for local events in the area. There's a number of opportunities there. Um, I think there's there's a good opportunity to make some money and help people out. Uh, this does not use X theme, doesn't use the uh, free WordPress theme from Income School, but 26 page views, 23 unique views, 51 seconds time on page, a bounce rate of 70%. Um, organic search leads away, followed by direct and social. Google uh, leads away with 14 page views, which is up over, um, I, I would say over the last few weeks that's gone up substantially followed by direct and then Facebook. Uh, the reason why you're seeing Facebook so prominent in all of these websites is I had a plugin, a premium plugin, plugin called blog to social. And one of the things that the premium plugin did was once you click submit, it would send out your blog post to all of your social media accounts that you had connected. In addition, another added feature was that you could schedule posts to go out over 52 weeks. So if I wanted to, I could set it up so that, that my uh, blog post got sent out to a Facebook page or Instagram, or Twitter, whatever, uh, multiple times over 52 weeks. And so that's what you, actually what you're seeing uh, and why you're seeing people from Facebook and Facebook mobile. I just had to set that up after I created a new blog and then uh, that's kind of on autopilot right now. And then um, this is where the traffic comes from. I've said it many times before. If if you, for some reason, stumble across, across this website or, or, or I, I've said it many times before, if, if you're coming from outside the United States, most likely you don't know um, my city. You don't know Kenosha. And so I, I would assume that you're trying to hack or, or spam the site. So that is number three. And my fourth and final site that I like to show, uh, I this is my... One of my youngest sites. I has some, probably less than 15 blog posts at this point. The reason why I like to show this site is because it has less than 15 blog posts. It doesn't have any images. The only thing that it has is a logo. Uh, it doesn't have anything else. And I think I recently, maybe two months ago, added affiliate links. But this is the traffic that I'm getting from this site. 200 page views. Uh, 179 unique views, average time on page, five minutes and 19 seconds, a bounce rate of 86.13. So pound for pound, this site is doing much better than all of my other sites. Uh, just because uh, if you look at the page views, if you look at um, if you look at the number of posts on the site, this one is doing by far the best. As you can see, organic search leads the way, followed by, uh, let's see, Google's number one, Direct, Bing, and then Yahoo. And then these are where the customers are coming from. United States, Australia, United Kingdom, all what you'd like to see. If you want to learn more about Project 24, click that first link in the description. It'll take you to a little webinar which will explain to you exactly what they're going to give you in their course, step by step. Um, it will be an affiliate link, so just a heads up FYI. Uh, also, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment if this video helped you out in any way. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.